Hey, 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 guys, this is Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com, and this is another episode of the Ask PTL show. And today we're going to be talking about the cons of being a pharmacy technician. Like, what's bad about it? Don't you want to know? What are the cons of being a pharmacy technician? Everyone has their own reasons why they think getting certified is hard, but I'm just letting you know like some of the cons of getting into this field or even being in this field as a pharmacy technician, all right? So I'm just gonna be honest off top, okay? One of the main cons of being a pharmacy technician, like one of the, I'm not gonna say it's the worst thing, but one of the, the strenuous things that I hear from a lot of our students are you have to get your certification to go up in the ranks. Now, if you've heard me before say you don't technically, okay, I say technically have to have a certification to get a pharmacy technician job. But if you want to go up in the ranks and go above that $14 per hour mark, you definitely want to get your certification. Okay. And for a lot of people, this is just hard or this is just a headache for whatever reason. So another con is this, working in retail pharmacy, okay? Like your major chain retail pharmacies that you just about see on every corner. It can be stressful, very <laughs> stressful, okay? Mainly because sometimes, if I could just be honest, they're understaffed. So you may only have two technicians on a shift, but you're doing the amount of work that four technicians should be doing. So it becomes a lot of stress on you as a tech and even your pharmacist, because you have your pharmacist who you are there to assist, okay? We love our pharmacists, but your pharmacist could be cracking down on you and, and really getting on you. Hey, we need that in production. Hey, we need that order field. Hey, did you get that lady's order in? And then you have another uh, angry patient coming at you saying, hey, I want my medication right now. And they literally just dropped the prescription off three minutes ago. How is that gonna work, right? So you just got all this stuff going on in retail pharmacy. Plus you have orders that people put in from yesterday that you just got in and they still need to be filled because the last person on the shift forgot to do their job because they were too busy filling other patients' medications and everything was just all over the place. It's just chaos. That's what a retail pharmacy kind of sort of looks like, okay? Until you're ready to go home. And then you're ready to go home, you get in your car, you're like, oh man, that was a tough day, but I made it. You go home and then the next day you do it all over again, okay? And at the end of it all, you say, whew, I love pharmacy, right? Trust me, I've experienced this, so I really know how it is, all right? But I talked to you about hospital pharmacy as well. Um, and don't get me wrong, hospital pharmacy does have its cons, okay? One of the bigger cons of hospital pharmacy is you can't really change shifts as much as you could in retail, okay? So basically like once they give you your shift, unless you're what we call PRN or as needed pharmacy tech, once they give you your shift, that's pretty much your shift that they expect you to do every single time. So if you don't like consistency, then hospital pharmacy probably is not the thing for you. And you will be surprised. There are people who love working in uh, retail pharmacy, but hate hospital pharmacy. Like you would really be surprised. These type of technicians do exist. I have talked to some. So you have spectrums on both sides, okay? But at the end of the day, a uh, pharmacy technician, it is a great field to get into because it's very stable and you can check out some other videos that we have on the channel that talk about the pros concerning becoming a pharmacy technician. But um, that's just to give you a, a brief illustration of like what you can expect in retail and what you can expect as far as a con in a uh, hospital. When you get in hospital, you're going to have a lot more uh, policy as well. So there's going to be a lot less gap for you to make errors and mistakes versus like retail pharmacy. Let's say you come in late. Well, in hospital pharmacy, it's not gonna be too much coming in late, okay? Um, in retail, you probably could get away with it a lot more. I'm just being honest from what I've seen based on experience, okay? But what I want you to do, I'm gonna end this out now. 
I want you to share your experience in the comments below and let us know, like, what are some more cons that you think about being a pharmacy technician that kind of uh, agitates you a little bit? Just be honest, share it in the comments and let's talk about it and share it with your fellow pharmacy technicians so you can help them or people who aspire to be a pharmacy technician so they actually know what to realistically expect. We don't wanna paint this grand old picture like, oh, pharmacy technician, no troubles, no worries. No, sometimes it can get hectic in the pharmacy. Take it from me, okay? So this has been Onisha Biggs of Pharmacy Tech Lessons. I'm gonna end it out here and you have a great day.